Imagine you are a prisoner. Or imagine you are an outcast, a stowaway. And you're stuck on an island. Or you are in a strange land. You have no family, you have no food, you have no water. And you just anticipate to getting back to your family, back to your home. Imagine what kind of a feeling that type of a person would be feeling when he is in a strange land, imprisoned, encaged. He will do anything and struggle in any way just to get back to his family, get back to his home, get back to security, wouldn't he? Sometimes even if it meant his life. If he is drowning and he is stuck in the water, he will struggle and strive in every way. Even if it meant that he has to use the last piece of energy and breath that he has in order to reach land. Al-dunya sijn al-mu'min. The world is like a prison for a mu'min. A mu'min. One who desires Allah. One who desires paradise. That's a mu'min. Are you one of them, brothers and sisters? If you desire paradise, then you work for it. And we, some people think that if you worship Allah, you should not work desiring paradise. You should only work because you desire Allah only. But this is wrong and this is not the aqidah of a Muslim. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, يَعْبُدُونَهُ طَوْعًا وَكَرْهًا They worship Allah in hope and in fear. طَوْعًا وَكَرْهًا وَطَمْعًا And also greedy for Jannah. Because in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu if their companion was in need, you would find that one of them, subhanAllah, the one typical companion would always put his brother in his place. Allah says in the Quran, وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا And they would deny themselves things when they themselves needed it in order to provide it for their brothers in Islam. Yes, if they were attacked by some people, they would go out and they would beat each other to the battlefield to defend the women and the children. Not only that, the companions would race each other. And he would find in those days, read the seerah, a companion would grab his brother from behind in his shirt and he would pull him to the back, throwing him behind him. Why? Because he says to his brother, Wallahi, you will not die before me. I will defend you instead of you defending me. I will not let you defend me. I am not better than you. This is how they were. They loved each other to that extent because they loved paradise and they wanted to meet in paradise.